Welcome back. Let's take another example of restricting degrees of freedom uh, in jigs and fixtures. So on the left side, we have our workpiece that has a hole at its center. And on the right side, we have uh, the jig or fixture plate or base. And it has a pin inserted at its center. So that is basically uh, the locating pin. So in the previous example, in the three to one principle, we were locating the part through externally machined surface. Here we are locating the part through a hole and the method of, uh, or you can say the locating device is a cylindrical pin in this case. So we will be simply placing this workpiece uh, on this uh, uh, fixture uh, through this hole. So this hole will be uh, sort of, uh, uh, having a larger diameter, slightly larger diameter as compared to diameter of the pin. So we will be simply uh, placing this workpiece on this fixture base through this hole. So which directions of movement are restricted? So can the part move in the positive x direction? No, it cannot move. Can it move toward the left side or negative x? No, it cannot. Can it move upward? So there is no restriction on the upward direction. So yes, it can move in the upward direction. What about negative y? So there is this uh, uh, fixture base that will, uh, that will be restricting the downward movement. So the part cannot move in the downward direction as well. What about z direction? In and out, so part cannot move in the z direction as well. What about the rotation along x-axis? Rotation about this axis in clockwise or counterclockwise direction because of this height of the pin, it cannot rotate in the x-axis as well in either clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Now, what about y-axis? So yes, it can rotate about the y-axis because the diameter of the hole is slightly larger than the diameter of the pin. So it can rotate in clockwise or counterclockwise direction in the y-axis. And finally, what about Z? So because of the height of this pin, it cannot move. It cannot rotate along the Z-axis as well. So in this case, you can very easily see that only three direction of movement, linear in the Y and uh, upward linear in the Y and two rotations in the Y are not restricted and rest of the degrees of freedom, remaining nine, they are restricted. But remember that if there was an interference fit between this hole and pin, which is not recommended because that will uh, make the removal of the part from the fixture difficult, but if it were an interference fit, then all 12 degrees of freedom would have been restricted, as we saw in the case of template jigs. But it is a clearance fit, so these three degrees of freedom are not restricted. So method of location was through a hole that was already drilled in the machine uh, part in the, in the workpiece. And the device of location was, primary device was a pin, but this base of the of the fixture was also acting as secondary locating method. And that was through external surface or machine surface of the workpiece. Thank you very much.